hi friends hope you are doing fine so today we again visit the postdoc theme and let's go to switzerland so essentially some of you may know that switzerland has several top universities in the world so you may have heard of the eth zurich you may have heard of the epfl now these are essentially swiss federal institutes of technology they are located in zurich and lausanne respectively now beside these two universities or institute there are several other institutes for example there is the university of bern there is the university of geneva there is the university of basel there is the university of lausanne and many more so essentially switzerland has a highly developed educational and research system and you can take advantage of this whether you are doing phd or postdoc so today we are going to discuss one particular postdoc and that's the swiss national science foundation postdoc and you will find that typically what happens in a country is that there is one leading postdoc coming out of the government and the remaining postdocs often follow the pattern in terms of the research proposal the application forms which are set out by this national science foundation type of body so let's look at this postdoc this is essentially known as the snsf swiss postdoc fellowship so swiss postdoc fellowship is spf now this fellowship is uh, there for all nationalities including swiss nationality and therefore you can try for this fellowship it encompasses all the research disciplines and the requirement is that you should finish your phd and have less than 8 years of postdoctoral experience so that's come thing to keep in mind 8 years is a maximum but in case you have done some postdoc somewhere else this fellowship gives you the possibility of applying here as a second postdoc so i would of course recommend you finish your phd and then apply to this particular fellowship so let's look at some of the places which are permitted here you can work in any non commercial research institute in switzerland so essentially this is a complex way of saying you can work in a typical university or research institute now the fellowship pays for your salary it pays for some research funds conference cost etc so how much is the salary it's actually among the higher paid post doctoral fellowship so it is chf 105000 per year which comes out to be about 115000 us dollars so that's a very good amount of money which they are giving you beside that they also give you a reasonable amount of money for doing research research expenses conference and so on and you can take this fellowship up to a two year period so this is a pretty good possibility if you get it now let's look at some of the things which you need to do to get this fellowship of course you have to go to the web page apply in the application form and what do you essentially need to submit the main thing is going to be the proposal and this proposal is a research plan it should be about 10 pages long it should be written in your own words that's certainly true uh, they will check it for plagiarism and so on this 10 page includes references and you can give a uh, few plots and tables if you need that to make your case now of course before you write this proposal just like for the humboldt and many other fellowship you need to find a host and a university and generally this proposal should be written in conjunction with this host professor and with the university so keep that in mind now what's going to happen is that proposal is going to be judged on a scale of 1 to 9 9 being the best possible scenario and this is going to go to external and internal review so these are some of the things they do now beside this proposal what else needs to be submitted you need to submit a three page cv you need to submit who is the lab where you are going to work the supervisor who is going to guide your work your career plan the career plan has to be one page so essentially the career plan is the plan which you have for your career and you need to include how this particular fellowship is going to help in your career so essentially you need to tie in your phd problem your postdoc problem and show how this growth process is going to help you become a 
good researcher so that's what they kind of expect out of this situation beside this you need to submit your copy of your degrees or diploma a support letter from the supervisor uh, confirmation from the host university and so on so pretty laborious and intent intense task so you need to set aside probably a month or so to apply for this proposal or this fellowship and you need to set aside some time to write this proposal so now beside this there are some more requirements one of the requirement is that you should not be in switzerland for more than 12 months in the 36 month prior to submission of this fellowship proposal and application form so essentially this postdoc is really targeted to foreign nationalities so there's certainly something which you can take advantage of if you are a student either in the us or in the european union or india or china or korea or middle eastern countries or any part of the world now remember that this is a pretty competitive fellowship it does compete with the Marie Curie type of fellowship and so on and essentially your resume should have a list of papers it should have a list of papers which are published from your PhD and also if possible a list of paper which were published in a postdoc so one strategy could be that you do a PhD somewhere you do a postdoc somewhere else for a year or two and then you apply for this fellowship because they are paying you good money here it's like a job and certainly at the end of this fellowship from one of these prestigious universities in Switzerland you are going to be very marketable and you may get a faculty position or a research job somewhere else so this was my take on the Swiss postdoctoral fellowship SPF I know that Switzerland is a place where many people want to go it's known for its excellent locales as a major tourist destination a lot of movies are shot there and so on and many people aspire to go to Switzerland so one of the fringe benefits of doing a PhD is that you can aspire to go to places like Switzerland and you can get a fully paid trip there to do research and keep this in mind when you are suffering from motivational problems in your PhD you can think about the possibility that all your papers which are published in journals with good impact factor the edge index which you have been building up the nice proposals which you have been thinking about all these can lead to this swiss postdoc so this was my take on the swiss postdoctoral fellowship and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then